Hello, this is Zukran with your Maturi again. It's been uh, quite a long time since our last video from Julkula to Päivaranta Kuopio, but me and your Maturi are now back and it's nice to ride with your Maturi again. This time we take a look at Jyväskylä. Jyväskylä is a city in the middle part of Finland. About 130,000 people live here. I have been living here for about two years on and off and I am currently living here in Jyväskylä also. So this is my current hometown and I know Jyväskylä fairly well. On the right side is coming ahead San Siro Cafe. Uh, in my last workplace we used to go for a beer after work on Fridays. One time me and Jormaturi went there also together. Jormaturi started to pick a fight with the bartender and your mother got banned from San Siro Cafe. So your mother told me one time that fuck them, fucking San Siro, I wouldn't want to go there anyway. Those fuckers. On the left side there are some university buildings. There is a university in Uvascula with lots of areas to study. And of course if you are interested in young good-looking university girls, Jyväskylä is the place to be. And Jyväskylä, if you look the people of Jyväskylä, there are younger than compared, for example, to Kuopio, where people mostly consist of old people. And in Jyväskylä area there is this one fucker whose YouTube nick is Dashcam Finland. He drives around with his old fucking fat Mercedes records everything and if you make a small mistake in the traffic he puts that on YouTube. So one time I passed him and I didn't use the turn signal and that fucker put that on YouTube. God damn it makes me sick. And sometimes he's complaining that people are tailgating him but that's because he drives too slow with his old fucking Mercedes. And we are soon entering Jyväskylä center area and the traffic in Jyväskylä during rush hour it is really hard. There are many cars. For example this cross section it is almost impossible to get through at 4 in the afternoon. I broke my ride patella about a month ago and I used to ride my bike to work but now I have to take my car. Driving to work, that's so fucking boring that I started to drink during my driving to make the commute a little bit nicer. So I am hoping that my patella heals and I, can, I could finally ride my bike again because then I don't have to stop in the fucking rush. And on the right side is coming ahead Jyväskylä bus and train station and the railroad yard is also on the right side. There used to be a bar called Karma and few years back I was getting home from Karma. I didn't get any lucky that night also and I decided to skip through the railroad yard. And then there was this train locomotive sitting there and it was, it was a cold winter night so I decided that I would try to get in the locomotive and warm up in there. And I tried the door and hell it was open so I went inside the locomotive. I had a little bo bottle of vodka with me and I decided that I would try to start the engine. So I found the keys, they were, they were just lying there on the dashboard and I tried to start it up because I used to drive a tank in the army. It was the same kind of engine. So and that fucker, it started up. So I put it on gear and it started to go on. So, god damn it, I was laughing and I was thinking that ah, I'm going to drive this locomotive to my home. But then the locomotive it fell from the tracks because track shift was wrong. I got something like 200 meters ahead. Then I thought that ah, I gotta better get the hell out of here because I might have to pay for this. So then I just vanished from the train yard. And they still don't know that who started the locomotive and who drove it. The government railroad said that it may be started by itself and started running itself. But no, it was me. 
and to the left side is coming ahead McDonald's maybe after me and your motor store we get some Big Mac plus Big Mac meal and Terminator will also have uh, double coupe of course and of course there is also Burger King in Jyväskylä now we passed it a while ago and maybe we should on the other hand get some whoppers or double whoppers last time that your mother and we were filming your mother was of course sleeping in my apartment and you should hear the noises that he makes in the night he was sleeping in the living room floor and he made this kind of squealing or howling sound or something like I don't know why the fuck he was shouting in his sleep and on the next day your mother sheets they were like all filthy they were all like yellow and sweaty and they were something that I haven't never seen before and so my wife asked that what are we going to do with the seeds? And I said, burn them. We must burn them. And we burned them on the yard. And the foul stench came from the seeds when we burned them. And we are now entering Seppala area soon. There are only stores in here. And during rush hour, this is also a really hard place to get in because the Holy Trinidad of Finnish families is home, the local store and the workplace. And that's the three points that people drive around in Jyväskylä. So I wouldn't recommend this area around four or five in the afternoon. It is impossible to get here. So there has been some changes in me and your mother's life. Since our last video, your mother he started to exercise and dieting and he's lost a lot of weight. Wait, he's a fit man now. So when your mother started that, then I noticed that God damn it, I can't be the fat one. So I started to dieting also. The first two weeks I did it the right way. You know dieting and exercising, but it was kind of boring. So I started a diet of my own. Every morning I would have a big breakfast, bacon and eggs. And I would have a big lunch at work. But after I came home, I didn't eat anything. I only smoked a pack of cigarettes and I drank whiskey. And during the weekend, I only drank whiskey and smoked. I didn't eat anything. And I lost something like 10 kilos in two weeks and then I got a creatitis and I had to be on intensive care for two weeks because I was in a really bad shape but anyway during the intensive care I lost something like 10 kilos so it isn't a diet that I could recommend to everyone but as they say if you want a hot body don't wish for it work for it so I really worked hard that time. I haven't drank or smoked that hard in my life. But now I am skinny also. Uh, after I got from out from the hospital, they told me that I shouldn't drink anymore. Because if the pancreatitis came back, I could die. But hell... You only live once, god damn it. And we are now entering Kangasburi area. Kangasburi is of course known from its psychiatric hospital, which used to be here until last summer when it moved away. Our mother has actually spent some time in Kangasburi hospital. A few years back we were drinking in Jyväskylä and sometimes your mother when he gets drunk, he talks a little bit crazy. So he talked to the wrong, wrong guy 
and he ended up in Kangasvori Psychiatric Hospital under 72-hour surveillance. So anyway, there's this courtyard in Kangasvori, closed ward, and your mother was smoking there and then he decided to escape. So he climbed up the rain pipe, walked on the roof and escaped. But he went to the closest bar in Pupuhuhta and the police came and picked him up from there. And after the 72 hour surveillance, your mother he got out. It was decided that your mother is safe. And nearby is of course Pupuhuhta area also, that is the worst area here in Jyväskylä. Only unemployed people, mentally unstable people and immigrants live there. I actually checked one apartment when I was moving here. I checked one apartment in Pupuhuhta. So I went from went, went to take a look at Sunday morning and then I looked in the apartment yard. There was this playground, and I looked a little bit closer, and god damn, there was this guy that had hanged himself in the playground. And then children were playing around him. So then I thought that, hmm, maybe this isn't the right area for me, Pupu Huhta. So then I decided to buy my apartment from elsewhere, then Pupuhuhta. And on the right side there's coming ahead a graveyard, when I was a devil worshipper. We used to go to the graveyard and kick down some tombstones, but that was many years back. But nowadays I don't do that anymore, I'm just a normal guy now, who likes to drink beer and was series in Netflix. I was young, I was lonely, and there was these three gothic girls, uh, really good looking. And uh, they were always talking about the devil and the Satan and stuff like that, so I was trying to get in bed with them, so I started to talk about devil with them. And uh, we came like a small cult, and we used to play like spiritism with the queasy board, but that's easy to manipulate. I always move the pointer myself. And then they ask that uh, Lucifer, what is your command? And then I told, told the girls that uh, have sex with Zucra. So those were some good times. I was manipulating those three girls all the time. And then our number started growing, and our cult was growing, and I had studied some hyp hypnosis, so I was always like manipulating all those people, and I was leader of the group. Ah, good times, only drinking a fucking, a fucking orgy or something. But then those rest of the people they came really like hardcore. They started to talk about. Like sacrificing someone to the devil, like killing someone and chopping up the body. So then I decided that maybe I should quit being a devil worshiper because I didn't believe that stuff anyway. So, so one day I just vanished from the group and I have heard that the cult is still going strong and they are still waiting for their leader to return. And that is me. And sometimes when my life feels boring and meaningless and monotonous, I still think that maybe I should get back, back to my cult. Maybe our numbers would grow and we could move the, move the cult to the United States. And maybe we could start our own colony in South Africa. Like Jim Jones with the, with the Jonestown, but without drinking the Kool-Aid. Well, that's what I think. think sometimes. But yeah, it's nicer to be on my couch and drink beer. So this has been our tour to <coughs> Jyväskylä. 
I hope you have had some nice time with me and your mother on our tour to Jyväskylä. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from me and your mother. And I hope that I'll see you soon again.